shake and bake is swap into the HP 90 from there intent is to run at least one if not a couple nines on the stock bottom end engine so y'all know uh, all y'all OG folks know uh, I've been running a stock bottom end the entire time we're running 13 to 15 pounds of boost, maybe a little more, depending on the weather and a good day. Uh, we're running a lot of boost through this stock bottom end, and that's how we're gonna get the nines. It is, is running that boost, and if I have to, we do have the nitrous system hooked up to run a small shot of nitrous uh, to get us into that nine. Oh, I was gonna go, this guy pulled out in front of me. Um, so that's the intent is to go nines on the stock bottom end if the, if the stock bottom end continues to hold out until the end of this racing season the end of this racing season is when we're gonna go ahead and put in the uh, put in the forged motor hang on Intent 
in the winter is to do the, uh, the forced motor swap, turn off the boost by getting a smaller upper pulley uh, for the D1X, increase the boost, and, and then we're really gonna start to do some things. Uh, actually, we're gonna get to the point where we're gonna test uh, the ability of the 6.4 intake manifold, uh, the plastic one, uh, to hold how much boost it'll hold. Uh, I haven't seen anyone push the 6.4 intake manifold uh, uh, when it comes to boost. So, I mean, like I said, we're running 15, 16 now, 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, somewhere around in there, possibly 16 on a really good day um, uh, through it now. Uh, we'll see how much it can take. You know, we're, we'll push into the 18 to 20 pounds and just see see what the stock 6.4 intake manifold can take. Uh, and if that happens to go, uh, we have a couple routes. Uh, possibly uh, a Holly Sniper, possibly a 6.1 uh, intake manifold. Just because I got the shaker, it, it really limits me in manifolds. Because um, I can't get anything that's that's too tall. Um, so that's also in the future. Is sooner or later we're gonna have to update the uh, the intake manifold as well. I probably could have hit it there, but again, a whole lot of traffic going on. But that gets us into the summer into the big or not summer into winter uh in the beginning of next year uh from there i i don't know where we're gonna go from from there you know once we run some some higher boost figure out the intake manifold thing that could take us uh you know from beginning of uh be, beginning of spring bit later in spring uh, and then from there I mean we've uh, started to exhaust <laughs> uh, you know everything we can do uh, from a 5.7 so um, you know we may do some more uh, uh, suspension work uh, we haven't done a lot of suspension work on shake and bake y'all know that uh, we've only did a few things a uh, bunch of the trailing arms. She still has all the stock shocks, uh, front and rear stock shocks. Uh, we did change the springs in the rear, uh, but uh, you know the, uh, the suspension is is fairly stock. Uh, we'll see what some some uh, race shocks can do. Start doing some adjustments depending on the uh, depending on the track. See if that helps out. You know, we'll just kind of we'll kind of go from there. But so there's the short term HP90 next week, uh, and then we'll run that in the fall and see what happens on the stock bottom end. Longer term, uh, get into the winter time, swap the engines out, uh, turn up the boost for spring of next year. Uh, start looking at at the intake manifold. Uh, you know, if we start popping the intake manifold, uh, we may have to go with a new one. And then from there, it's just probably suspension uh, and things like that from there. So uh, that's it, short term, long term. Uh, that's it for Shaky Bay. Uh, real quick on you guys, I appreciate everyone supporting the channel 100%. Uh, I could not do this uh, without your support, whether you're subscribed or, or not subscribed. Uh, the support you guys are providing to the channel has been awesome. It's been great uh, helping me out doing these modifications because uh, you know it's all expensive ones from here. Nothing, nothing super cheap. Um, but I definitely appreciate the support. Definitely appreciate the help. Shake and Bake definitely does because y'all know every red penny from YouTube goes into Shake and Bake. But. Uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the channel, do me them few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake definitely appreciate it. Like I said, every red penny from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake uh, and the modifications for her. Um, 
that's it for this one, folks. Until next time.